Alrighty then, a little bit of interesting stuff to note. Um, I'm using this back edge as my baseline or profile, and then that helps me work out what needs to happen in this area. So I've just been stretching from here, and you can see I've marked this area because there's a little bit of a, um, a dish starting here. So we needed to start raising that area as well. Um, Sort of like the previous one where it, um, it had a severe um, stretch here. Um, I need to start doing that now, but probably not as severe. And we're trying to make it go further up this way so it's more gradual. But I've only clear just the bottom part of this skin here. Um, you can see that's all free to move and all of that sort of stuff. And you can see how it fits this way. Um, yeah, so remember that and hold on to that thought for a second. So now with this skin clear code into place, um, it changes the whole shape of the panel. So that says that this little bit here, which seems to be insignificant when you're working on that piece down there, actually has an effect on the whole panel. So basically it's just, we're going to have to work most of this panel to make it fit. So the trick is not to get lost in one little area. That's why you need to go slow and check things as you go because um, what, you can't just concentrate on this one area and forget about the rest of this stuff. This, this has an effect on this part, ever so slightly, but it's something you need to consider as you're making. So you sort of, it, and this is the end result that we want. This is gonna be um, pinned, uh, riveted all together with the, with the other skin and the front piece. So this is the end result. Um, so we need to, need to keep an eye on that as we progress to make sure that the end result is what we're after. So yes, I need to work this area a bit more, but I may have to start inducing something in here as well just an ever so slight curve here that'll help things sit down. Maybe, but that's something we got to keep an eye on as we progress. At the moment, it's getting difficult to push that again, back to my, my reference line. So there's pressure in the skin and it's getting interfered with over here and this isn't helping. So we can sort of see, trust me, um, it's touching still in this section here, but there's clearance here. So we've raised it up a fair bit and it's touching here. So we'll have to raise um, this edge a little bit more. See how we need to start working that further up this way a little bit and bringing that back out here. So from here back this way, we need to put a little bit of a curve in there to bring it up. Um, but not from that line back this way because we want that bit to start going back that way. And I'll probably end up putting a fold in that part there. Um, but so from there, now you can see where I've got my lines there. So we're gonna start doing this whole sweep thing across the panel because, because it's curved, curved this way, basically we're lifting this part of the skin out to match the top shape or close to it. Not quite that severe, that's what I did last time, but it needs to come out. Um, and that's what that line's all about. So we're just gonna continue this profile and bring it around, I don't know how far yet, um, to make that sit back down again. But also, as you do that, you'll see straight away that if I just concentrate on this section here, I'll end up with a, with a flat spot right here. So we'll probably need to, so that's what these lines are for, these little dots, probably need to work all the way over here, probably with a smaller diameter um, die, just to put some shape into that to bring it up um, to match the rest of the work. Clear as mud? Yeah, well let's start with this one, we'll start so instead of when I wheel it, it'll be won't be just back and forth in this way. We'll start to start to work around the the, the corner like that, 
and bring it all up and then we'll see what we need to work in this area. All right, so I've gone this way a little bit just from here. Well, it started from about there. There's my mark that I said I wanted to raise or concentrate on. So I've gone a little bit past it and then just to this area because this area was touching. That area needs to be raised a bit more, but we don't need to make a, a big warp that way. So um, I've raised this section and now we're going along this way again and we'll go all the way up like that that's just smooths out those ripples and i'm also starting to follow that line over there so we're going around the corner like that and we're working our way up like that and we'll come back over this way a bit lift this too much because I end up making it too severe like previous. I'm starting to go around the corner there. I'll probably end up changing the die soon to a less severe curve because this area here doesn't need to be as such a sharp radius as that one. Probably need to work up here a little bit more too. I can feel a whoop here. So we'll probably bring this up here a bit more and then we'll swap it out to a smaller radius die so we've got this raised up a fair bit more i'll change this die out to a less severe radius because i don't need that sharper radius up here we'll um, get a flatter one so we can just start to raise this section here a bit more now Not using too much pressure on the on the wheel again because we just want to bring this up slow and see what we're doing so i'm going to start following that curve around like that probably start concentrating on this area first and then we'll bring it out further I think we need to go a little bit more up here. So I'm starting to put a whoop in here, so I need to stop stretching there. I probably need to stretch more here now because I've basically that whoop there means that I've stretched that area too much for its um, for this area so I need to either stretch more here or stretch more here and that'll pull that back out so we'll stop there for a moment I might concentrate a little bit more up here and then we'll check it on the buck again it's very easy as you can see to stuff it by going too far too too quickly. See even stretching here is starting to pull that back out again. So um, here we go. I'll probably end up lifting this area a bit more anyway, so that'll pull that back out because I reckon I'll probably need to get a It'll probably still be touching in this section here. So we'll keep that in mind as we progress. Ooh, we're getting close. This is getting critical. I'm either gonna make it right or I'm gonna stuff it. So, click go back up again like this. this. So that's actually affecting the rest of the skin now. Like I said before, we were starting to work this, this like a sweep, I suppose like that and that's that um, area where I've stretched too far and it's actually dished in a little bit so I've marked it for clarity um, I'm hope yeah if you if I run the wheel through that anymore it's going to make it worse it doesn't fix it we need to shrink that area or stretch this area or this area 
So we'll probably, and I need to stretch a little bit more, so we're gonna run with that. Um, this mark here is the one that I've been using to raise and concentrate the, the curve on, but it's, put, come around here and have a look. Can you see? It's very difficult, but trust me, it's actually touching down this way a little bit, not up here. Now, so we need to, we need to bring that down this way, but not here, but that's that line there um, is where I want it to start, not so much here, because if I raise this section, that'll come um, better. We'll see. We can work our way to that one. Uh, that's what these lines here, so I'm gonna probably, just this area here, roll the English wheel this way, in just this section here, and then, maybe a little bit more up here um, to raise this whole section a bit more and that should pull that out, hopefully. So I'll have to be careful to run close to here to raise this and pull that out, but not into it because that'll make it worse. Hopefully, because that would suck if I stuffed it now. But yeah. This radius is looking pretty sweet. I could probably push that down a little bit better and we can start trimming that down. But we just need a little bit more in this area here. So we've changed the, the die back to a sharper radius again. And this time we'll concentrate just on this little bit here and not get wet because it's just starting to rain. Um, maybe a little bit more tension on that. There we go. So, we'll work our way back to this way. Get this little apparatus I'm using to focus properly. And just work our way up that way. And we're looking. We'll go back again. Now we'll go this way and follow that curve around just to lift that up more. Can we concentrate on that a bit more as well? You do realize I'm just making this up as I go along, hey? Back down closer to the front mark and around. I don't want to make it too severe like I did last time. Now I'll we'll bring this up again. Maybe a little bit more tension. There we go. And just come up underneath next to that other piece there that has a whoop in it. I try not to just concentrate on that one area. You gotta every so often spread it out so that stops that whoop, you know, that blister type arrangement that we don't want. It's the other thing, we've just gotta give the metal somewhere to go. You'll probably find that this edge here, because I haven't, haven't, oh, sorry, there you go. You'll probably find that this edge is starting to interfere with us now too because I haven't stretched it. I'll probably have to start trimming that back soon. <clears throat> How's that? I can still feel a little bit there, so I'm gonna just bring it back up. Maybe this area here might need a bit more of a raise. And we look in there. I don't want to juice another one. It's almost gone. There's still a little bit there, so I'll just Bring it up this way a little bit. And then go all the way along. All right, we'll stop there and have a look-see.
Righto, boys and girls, we have a winner. Clico back up again. Yes, there's a little bit of tension there, but hold that thought. That sweep's working out pretty, pretty good. So that little dish there that we had has pretty much pulled itself out. There's a very slight one. But we'll leave that for now because I think it's time to start trimming it. So like I said before, sometimes the edges there start interfering, but you can't start cutting it all away until you know where the panel's gonna sit. I'm not gonna change it too much more from there. So, actually, look at that, there's a bit of a wood there. Uh, we'll see. Um, so now I can start trimming this edge back so it won't start interfering with here so we can almost start putting holes in it um, but anyway yeah I'll trim this back and then we can start working on this edge this this curve down here and making that sit sweet but that's starting to look like what I wanted so so like the previous one it has that same it follows this shape here around but it's not as severe in that one spot like a big blister there um, so it's a bit more gradual from that shape up to that shape. And that's what we wanted spread over a bigger area. Winning this skin here will go over the top of this skin and screw onto these points here. So we need to find these holes in this skin. So, um, all I did was draw a line from the center line of the hole out this way and then I've measured it at a set distance. I picked 150 millimeters for fun. Um, the longer the distance, the more accurate you are. If the shorter distance here, you've got an issue about getting it square again. So I like to try and make it as long as I can. And basically I just measure from 150 or whatever number you pick um, in the center line of the hole to the end. So when the skin sits over the top here, I can do the same thing again, that same measurement, and then mark off where that hole is in the new skin. You gotta make sure that the new skin sits flat on this edge. If it's raised a little bit, um, this isn't gonna work. You'll drill a hole in the wrong spot and you'll cry. Uh, so make sure that that is sitting flush. If it's, re if it's sitting proud anywhere, make it fit properly, so trim it, shape it more, whatever you need to do, but make sure it's flat. If it's curved, then you start need to, using your, need to use your dividers. So make a measurement from here and here and you know all of those, make all the stars align so it all sits. But because this sheet is actually flat, there's a lot of curve everywhere else, but this part here, that's why I took a measurement this way instead of that way or something like that, um, you can actually cheat and do it this way. It's quite simple but you can stuff it up real quick too if you're not careful. And then you cry a lot, just from experience. Sorry about the noise, but it's raining and it's a tin shed and a little one. Um, one down, we're committed now. So all we do is once, it's, once this skin is seated properly, um, I'll draw that line, transfer that line across. I think I there we go. So, where are we? All right. So I transfer that across onto the new skin and then we measure along that line and that's where the hole has got to be. And then we drill that and we screw it in and we keep going all the way up. But it's got to be sitting right. And yeah, there's a few ripples in here, but once we've got these holes, we can trim the edge distance and we can clean this all up. So you take all the ripples out of it. And that's how we do that. We're done. It fits. I'm pretty happy with how it works. Um, there's our screw attach points there. And that's pulled that down quite nicely against the next of the, the bottom panel. All right. And we've got our shape. There's no ripples in it. And it's going from, from down this profile here and then back out to this one. So that profile with this curve in it as well. 
So there's a slight one there. Yes, there's ripples here because I've only got a few Clecos in there. This skin here is gonna go underneath it and I'm gonna make a uh, stiffener through here as well. So that'll pack out quite nicely. I had to raise this little area here just a little bit more as, as it came along, there was a bit of a dish going on until we got to the outside piece there. So um, uh, from memory, it was just this area here that needed just a very careful and a very gentle raise. That only took, oh, a couple of, geez, five or six turns on the, on the English wheel, just in this area here sort of thing with light pressure. So just to bring it out a little bit. Very scary times because I could, if you go too much, you would have stuffed it and that would have been the whole panel gone, throw it in the bin, go have a drink and try again tomorrow type business. Uh, but we got it. Sweet. This profile turned out quite nice. I'm much happier with this one rather than the severe curve that I had going on the first panel that I made. This is much more gradual, it'll clear everything, and it'll look nicer, I reckon. There we go. So, that's done. We just gotta make it on this side now. At least I can use this one as a bit of a guide and a template as to how I go about making it on that side. Yeah. This is so much fun.